Okay, I just got done reading a long document. It was a 500-page uh, record, and it reminded me of something great about using Acrobat to review long documents, and that's bookmarks, and that's something I want to go over really quickly right now and uh, show you what that's all about. The uh, I've, I've got a, a large uh, document open here. It's a 1,000-page um, annotated uh, statute, and where bookmarks are located, it looks like a little bookmark icon over in the uh, what's called the, uh, the panel pane. And it's the bookmarks panel. You see, I already made one of the um, bookmarks here. You click on this, it'll navigate right to it. Most people make these as a way of recreating the uh, table of contents, but they're very easy to make and they're very useful uh, to use in the uh, in the course of reviewing a long document to, to get around really quickly. For example, let's say I wanted to, uh, under the practice commentaries, I wanted to create a bookmark for 2005. Let's see. Take that. The fastest way to do it, I think, is to press Command B, Control B on the PC. Alternatively, to do 2004, you could right click and add bookmark. And it, what Acrobat does is just creates bookmarks down this pane in the order they were created, not necessarily in the order they are in the in the, in the um, document. So be careful about that. Now, as you're going through, let's say you get down to something else you want to see on page, whatever this is, here, this is probably a good something we want to take note of. Let's say notes of decision is someplace else that we wanted to uh, bookmark to get through very easily. So the command be that. Now, to get these more organized, let's say I wanted, it made sense to me to have 2005 and 2004 nested underneath supplementary practice commentaries. So to do that, just click on the icon here in the panel pane and hold down and move it up ever so slightly and then once you see that little carrot with a line attached to it sort of move that in you kind of got to move it up to the right sort of uh, northeast and then let it go and then it nests it right underneath there and you'll see this little carrot come this uh, carrot comes to it you can uh, twirl open later the other one the second one is a little easier you just move it up and it'll nest it right there and then you close it out, and then you know that there's additional bookmarks there by the um, once this little carrot is there. Ones that are just single bookmarks that don't have a little carrot. So that's a nice way to um, to keep those to keep those organized. And um, another thing I wanted to well let you know, of course, if whatever whatever you highlight, I usually I, sometimes I highlight entire sentences and bookmark an entire sentence. For example, a critical argument, I'll uh, I'll bookmark the entire thing. Now another thing you can do if you wanted to is change the appearance of these bookmarks. By right clicking and then clicking properties, you can make these things uh, bold, italic, or um, or either or, and you can change the color. For example, I, I usually change um, I usually change the appearance after I've uh, really looked into something, and uh, I want to. Uh, Sort of make it through the entire document as I'm as I'm going, so I know what's going on later. I think that the commenting and markup tools in in Acrobat often are just you know for my own use and not necessarily to, to collaborate with someone else, but sort of collaborate with myself uh, down the road in months to come when I have to look at this stuff again. Everything's nice and organized. I know what I looked at. I know what's important. I can get there quickly. And this is one great way to do it uh, using bookmarks in Acrobat.